Hey guys, Tachu22 here, and welcome back to Mario Party 9! And this Let's Play is brought to you by MuchGames.ca, and well, before I move on to the next challenge in minigame mode, I want to explain that as far as Bus Rush is concerned, well, uh, there are only four bosses in the entire game that we did not cover in the original playthrough. And, well, it would be kind of useless to go through the boss rush knowing that we only had four bosses that we missed out on. But, what you do need to know is, basically you have four players and based on how many points you got during uh, each boss fight, the one who gets the most points overall when the boss rush is finished is the winner overall. So that's pretty much how Boss Rush works, but we're going to play Step It Up. Alright, be the first player to win a certain number of minigames to become the champion. Very, very simple, I might add. Alright, let's play with one player, and we're always going to play with four. Alright, I'm going to be Toad, because he's awesome. He's my man. And we're going to have Mario, Peach, and Shy Guy. Very interesting, to say the least. I'm going to set the difficulty to hard, as always. And we're going to begin. Yeah! Welcome to Step It Up! Want to hear the rules? Yeah, we might as well. Players climb up steps every time they win a minigame. The first player to reach the top is the champion. Okay then, select a minigame type and the number of wins required for a victory. Um, well, let's just keep it in the middle. Five, five wins. And then we can choose a free-for-all or one versus X amount of rivals, so... Well, with this in mind, let's play free for all. Winning five mini games will take you to the top. Good luck, everybody. Thanks, Blue Toad. And of course, they would pick Peach to spin the mini game reel. But like I said before, you're only spinning. You're you're just spinning a roulette. That's all you're doing. You're not really selecting a game per se. Although, the next challenge will have you select games, but um, we'll get to that in, in another video. Tumble Temple, we've played this game many times, and uh, let me take off the uh, nunchuck. Uh, I had the nunchuck in there. Alright, well, let's begin. Alright, let's begin. Yeah, sometimes the speed as well as the angle of when the balls drop. Well, well, not like that, but you know what I mean. Literally, the balls are coming after me, man! That just sounds so wrong, but that's what it is. You're, you're trying to avoid the balls. Ah, damn it, I hit... Whatever. Yeah, I'm not gonna always win these games, but yeah... Well, at least it, at least Peach went down, uh, especially to the delight of the Luna. But Shy Guy is the winner. It doesn't really matter how you finish; it's if you finish at the at the top, number one, first place, and that's what really it's all about. Right now, Shy Guy has a lead. Okay, so I get to be next. Alright. Sounds cool. Alright. I guess I could pick it if I'm... Oh, I get it. You have to stop at the right time. Oh, I get it. Okay. I was beginning to wonder what the deal was with picking a, a game off of a roulette. But I can see how it works now. And Pizza Me Mario. 
fact, I actually got a response from Daluna, and she says that her favorite pizza was Hawaiian. Well, mine would have to be just good old-fashioned pepperoni, such as what I have in my hands, albeit my little toad hands. It's kind of hard to... Very difficult here. Ah, I lost. But apparently, Mario got the win. I mean, then again, it's all, it's it's not unusual for Mario to have a liking towards pizza. I mean, who doesn't like pizza nowadays? I mean, I could. I mean, I could think of somebody, but I'm not gonna go into detail about that, so let's just move on. Okay, so let's see what Peach is gonna get for the next minigame. Tuber Tug. Well, we played this minigame before, so I don't have to go over it again. So, let's begin. Oh, there we go. Come on! Finish. Well, I actually won with 23, so I was one over my favorite number, 22. Because I'm to do 22, by the way. And I get to climb the stairs. Okay, so we have a three-way tie for the lead. So, everybody except Peach has won a game. Ringleader. Okay, so we've uh, also played this game. Yeah, we played this game already. trying to find a way to jump the rings but as far as the dolphins are concerned how often do you get to ride dolphins I mean I've never written a dolphin myself and uh, I apologize for knocking the uh, the table that has the recording setup that I have oh dang it I botched it Got it. Alright, I did it. 33 points. Awesome. Yeah, I apologize for banging the table, but... Uh, but because of the way that my recording setup happened... Yeah, not much I could do about the... The recording setup. But it is what it is. And we have... A one-game lead over everybody. Except Peach. Except, yeah, except Peach, because Peach is now two games behind the leader. Wow, we have uh, more games with range in them. I mean, that's what it is, because... I mean, we had dolphins, and now we're going to have rings for having the fish to go through. So, as I've said before, I mean, this game is all about positioning. You have to stay... you have to get in the right position. You don't want it to be too crowded, otherwise you won't have any room to get the golden rings, or any rings for that matter. So, it's always a good idea to stay away from the competition. Or try to predict where the gold ring is going to be when uh, the Pianta throws it. Oh dang it, I missed it. Okay, yeah. Of course you're not gonna always get it, but you wanna try to get it more often than not. Alright, got it. Yes. 
Okay, I got another ring. And I got it. So yeah, anytime you grab a ring just before time runs out, uh, you will get the score. And I won. Awesome. So, three wins in a row, baby. We just need uh, two more, and we ended it right then and there. And of course, Peach, being that she is at the bottom, gets to spin the minigame wheel again. Player conveyor, okay. I will admit, I'm not a big fan of this game, because, well, unless you know what you're doing, Chances are you're not going to win, but it's worth a shot. Alright, let's hope for the best. That didn't work. Yeah, because it's kind of hard to judge where the right way is. Wait, I think I got it. I got it. Yes! Yes! Woo! You know what? Sometimes it takes a lot of luck to win. Sad but true, but, you know, sometimes it helps to have a horseshoe up my butt, but... It, it is what it is. I got lucky there. So, yep, I am one win away from reaching the top. You know, speaking of reaching the top, uh, there is a Canadian show. A show in Canada. It's an educational show, and the name of the show is called, appropriately enough, Reach for the Top. Uh, I'm not sure if you've ever seen that game, but I might pose a... Uh, uh, a video in the video description so you can go see an episode of Reach for the Top. And we've also played this game already, so let's just get on with it. Start. Gotta concentrate, guys. Yeah, it had to be that one. Alright, we got 30 points. This one. Okay, so Mario actually beat me to it. I mean, I, I don't always... I don't expect to win all the time, but... It, it's always a good idea to try to stay within range. This one, I believe. Wait, did I pick the wrong one? Yeah, I picked the wrong one. Damn it. Finish. Well, so much for finishing the game right then and there. I mean, you're not going to win them all, so... Yeah, that's what one person... You know, anybody who plays this game has to realize that you're not going to always win, but... You have to try to win more than you lose. But it also... For a moment there, I thought I heard something outside uh, of my room. And of course, Peach is still in last place, and ooh, okay. We get to play Bomb Barge. I believe we played this game already. Yeah, we played the game already. But if we haven't, uh, I'm not really sure if we have played it, but if we, if not, I'll explain the rules. Bomb Barge. Stay on the raft as long as you can. Avoid bombs 
or run into them before they explode to kick them away from you. And of course you use the directional pad to move and two to jump. So yeah, you have to survive as long as you can and that is easier said than done. Alright, I gotta concentrate, guys. Oh! Okay, now it's just me and Shy Guy now. Oh, never mind, I won! Wow, that was really lucky. I mean, everybody else took each other out. I didn't take anybody out. Well, I won! Yes! 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 And look at that! They got a statue of me right there! Woo! I'm the champ, baby! Woo! Anyways, awesome. I cannot believe I won. And Mario finished in second, Shy Guy in third, and Peach... Peach, you suck. And I don't mean it that way, I mean it the way it was intended to be. If you know what I mean. But, that's the end of Step It Up. I hope you enjoyed this one as much as I did playing it. Stay tuned for Player's Choice, or whatever it's called. Uh, stay tuned for that. That'll be coming up on the next episode.